to have this folder of WAF files. They're all um, pretty okay quality wise, but some of them have a different sample rate. So this one's 96K, maybe another one is 441.K. So they're not all the same. They're all bird sounds, by the way. Right. So the idea is that we want to combine them all into one big file with all the sounds after each other. So we get something like this. Right, at a certain frame rate. So how do we do this? Well, we actually need two tools for doing this um, on the command line. The first tool uh, that we need is FFmpeg, um, which I can show you the site for if everything goes well. So that's this tool. And then the second tool that we need is uh, SOX, which is this one which is the sound exchange they actually have. The site looks like this. On Mac, we can both install these tools using Homebrew. So we're going to go to the terminal. Um, I use Spotlight here <coughs> to find the terminal, make it a bit bigger, bigger, and then do brew install FFmpeg and SOX. I already have these tools, so I'm not going to do this, but um, you can press enter and have that installed. If you don't have Homebrew, you can first have to install that. So you go to brew.sh copy and paste this line, type, uh, press enter, type in your password, have that install, and then do this one, brew install, fmpeg and SOX, and type enter to install. All right, so now we're in the terminal, and I have this list of files, which is this one. So first I have to go to that directory. So right now I'm in the users FDB directory, and if I want to change directory to here. I can do that manually. I can do CD desktop, and then this one. Um, or now if we do cd back i'm back in my home directory what i can also do is cd and then drag this folder in and i get this uh, folder now if you do ls you can see that i have all the files here so to convert a file well first off if we just try uh, socks and then say let's take all the web files and take one big output file it will complain that they don't have all the frame same frame rate so they don't have the same speed and that's a bit of an issue if it if they would have uh, we would be done, but we don't. So we're first going to make a conversion and make them all the same frame rate. So what I'm going to do is make a new directory here called underscore conf for conversion. The name is just something I choose. Here I use this underscore convention to make sure that they appear at the top of the list. And now what I do is I say, um, well, ideally I would do this in ffmpeg, but it's not able to. So I would do ffmpeg dash i take a file. Um, like the whatever this file and then say uh, change the frame rate to 44,000 and then do like a out of WAF or something all right so that's for one file and that works the problem is I don't want to do this by hand for all of them so I'm going to remove that file um, so what I can do is I can do it with a loop um, and in bash uh, I can look for a for loop which is how I would do it like this. So what I do here is I do 4f, f is the alias or the name of my file, in star.wav, which means every file that ends in wav. Uh, and then I type semicolon, do, and now is the command that I do. So I do ffmpeg-i, and now I use dollar sign $f to indicate that I want to import this file. So the first time it will be the first file, then the second file, and so forth. So that's my input. Then I want to specify that I want this frame rate, uh, this audio rate of 44, 1000. Then I want to say where it needs to go. And here I need to say, I want to do that, put that in the convert folder as dash F. So the same file name, but then in the convert folder. That's why I make a file, a folder for it. That's it, I think. And then I do semicolon and then I end the for statement. So I'm basically making this one or this one. Uh, I end the statement with saying done. And now if I press enter, that will quickly convert all of the files. So I can open up that folder here, um, com folder, and as you can see, these are now all files that have a frame rate of 44.1 kilohertz, which is the output that I want. So now I'm going to make a new folder, make their out, so that's my like full output folder and now I can use socks so now I can say socks take everything in the convert folder star.wav 
and make one file like uh, out um, all.wav which converts all the files and this will go really quickly because it can now can just copy and paste everything together and now if I look at the out folder you see that I get the full um, output with all the samples after each other that's it